Relationships between species evolve over millennia, but they can be destroyed in just a matter of years. And it's happened a lot in Australia's grasslands. This is Mount Rothwell Research Centre in Victoria. It's 400 hectares of high security grassland. Scientists here are trying to restore animal relationships and thus mend a broken ecosystem. It's surrounded by 11 kilometers of fencing. 7,500 volts protect the perimeter. And it's patrolled every day. I'm feeling a little imprisoned. But then, this fence is not designed to keep things in, it's actually designed to keep things out. You see, in here is the largest piece of native Australian grassland left in this region. And this fence is helping keep out a whole load of animals that they don't want in here. This moggy is, or was, someone's pet. But she's also an alien predator that didn't evolve in this ecosystem. You see, Australia has no native cats of any kind. Down under, she's an unstoppable killer, along with feral dogs and foxes. These carnivores would do anything to get their jaws and claws on what's in here. This is a brush-tailed rock wallaby. And because of these introduced predators, he is now one of the rarest mammals in the world. And the extinction of just a few key creatures like him has had a catastrophic impact. Crucial ecological relationships are in tatters here. And as a result, this native grassland is now far more endangered than any tropical rainforest. The question is, if you remove all of the alien animals and reintroduce the key native ones, could Australia's grasslands be brought back to life? <laughs> 